What is going on my broskies? My name is Toadski back again here to bring you guys yet another One Piece Treasure Cruise video and I know this is definitely uh, a little bit later than what I would have liked but uh, I'm finally bringing you guys a video on the Zero Stamina Trafalgar Law event. Now this is definitely worth completing because if you do complete it you get yourself 20 rainbow gems, some tablets, cotton candy, you get a lot of luxurious rewards so if you have the units to do it I would highly suggest completing this island and also you do get an extra gem just for clearing it so technically you get 21 gems for beating this island for the first time which is actually really good so i have three different teams for you guys in this video today i've got this first team which is legend kaido we also have a snake man team and we have a version one katakuri team yes you heard that correctly version one katakuri he is able to beat it which is absolutely insane but of course like a lot of legends are actually able to beat this many many teams are already out there uh quick beard was able to beat it white beard and marco uh who else would there be you know sanji judges the captain like th there's so many different options uh you, you can run like nl i suppose technically you probably could shirahoshi definitely can as I said, there's many different team variations. And the main reason why it works so well is because you can just run Kaido as a friend captain and it's pretty much GG, right? Because Kaido just absolutely decimates this particular zero stamina challenge. And compared to other zero stamina challenges in the past, this is definitely one of the easier ones. And it is obviously just because we have access to Kaido and Kaido was obviously built for this event. So there's no normal attacks only debuff. So he just completely destroys it. Uh, but anyways, let's talk about each of these stages. So uh, we just went through some of the stages before. Stage three, which was the sheep's head stage. You got to bring someone to remove the defense up. Um, so having someone such as the Int Rare Recruit Peckhams or someone such as Vivian Rebecca that can remove all turns of it um, is going to be quite nice. Uh, the John Bar stage right here obviously this character is quite annoying he has a lot of mobs which again this is why kaido is really good because kaido will be able to just ko everyone on the field and then you can take down john bart as easily as you like uh now we've got sachi and penguin so sachi and penguin they have 7 million hp they have a delay immunity and they also recover 800,000 per turn and the thing is is if the mobs are dead he will go ahead and resummon them on turn two and when you eventually kill um, this guy, he will go ahead and paralyze both of your captains for 10 turns. And that particular paralysis is a very, very high chance of, of connecting. So you're basically not going to attack with those units while they are paralyzed. The stage following that, we have Beppo. Beppo, with his preemptive, will blow away two of your crewmates for two turns. And again, Kaido will just decimate this. If you do have your own Kaido with a friend Kaido, you actually will kill Beppo on turn one. If you are running a friend Captain Kaido, you will have to take over two turns to actually kill him there. Uh, but then we move on to the final stage, which is against Law Beppo, Sachi Penguin, and John Bart. All of them have a lot of HP. Um, there's a delay immunity for a couple of turns. Also, there is a perfect barrier on Law for three turns, which is where the new rare recruit Hold'em can remove that barrier upon activating his special. Law will also go ahead and remove all beneficial effects and accumulated damage, so you can't bring someone like V2 Katakuri or um, V2 Doflamingo to just wipe the stage. That will not work. And also, one character in your middle row will become your captain for three turns. So having someone in your middle row that is a really good captain that works with the rest of your crew will be good. Snake Man is a really good uh, option as not only just as a captain for this stage, but also as, uh, a, a, as one of the units in the middle row as he is just really nice to run as a captain. And then on the final stage, when you use his special, he gets the buffed captain ability, etc. Uh, after turn one, if Sachi and Penguin are alive, they'll apply that recovery buff. On turn three, Law will go ahead and switch one of your captains again with the units on the bottom row. And John Bart will go ahead and change his typing and apply resilience if you use a damaging special on that final stage, which you ideally want to do, especially if you're going to be running a Kaido friend captain, as it means he's going to change typing, so he's no longer strength, which means Kaido damage is going to be working a lot more effectively so the second team you guys are seeing here is a snake man team uh it just works very very well honestly it's, it's actually just as fast as running the double kaido team that you guys just saw um the speed of these two teams was almost identical and honestly both teams worked exceptionally well if anything i do think that the snake man team was actually easier to use because uh, on the final stage, you do actually remove all turns of the paralysis. If you are choosing to run this team, I would definitely highly advise to use the 20th anniversary Brook support on Sanji and Judge, as when you activate Sanji and Judge's ability to remove paralysis, the 20th anniversary Brook will go ahead and remove additional turns of that paralysis, which definitely helps out a lot considering how many turns of paralysis get inflicted to your crew on this particular fight. 
against this hold'em stage we have the rare recruit hachi to enable us to actually give us a pretty good amount of damage here also activating snake man will enable not only an orb boost on this stage but also an orb boost on the following stage as well so long as we do hit our perfects which obviously is the way to go uh we do have a lot of legends on this team so we do have legend cracker as well and we have sanji and judge in the middle row as we've said and this is really nice because when we actually reach the final stage um, no matter which character gets put in as the cap it doesn't really matter who gets put in as the captain it will still work i think in this actual clip cracker does get put in as the captain which is the less ideal of the two because his multiplier is a little bit less it's a 3.75 whereas sanji and judge you when you do use their special um it is a 4.25 times boost so obviously it's a massive difference there but it doesn't actually matter um who is the captain in this particular circumstance uh cracker might be replaceable you could probably definitely find a, a replacement for him but the reason why he's so good because not only is his special phenomenal but also his captain ability works very well with the rest of the crew as everyone is a powerhouse unit on this team we are also using the rare recruit jack as well that just came out with the kaido batch and he also is very nice because when you do kill beppo your specials will be rewinded so when we do move into the final boss stage and you know through preemptives and everything once we activate that jack special it will go ahead and rewind the rest of the characters on our crew not only does it do that but it does apply an orb boost it does apply a health cut as well just the the jack special is really really useful for this fight um like all of the new rare recruits obviously work very very well in this fight you could probably use like the entire batch with double kaido captains and then a filler unit like sanji and judge you know for example and that could probably beat it quite effectively um I, the speed is actually a really good unit to use here uh, if you do have her as well because you can also use her to go ahead and reduce the cooldowns once you do reach stage seven which is pretty good uh it also will go ahead and reduce the enemy's defense if you go ahead and use speed and on the final boss stage there is only a delay immunity so if you have some other unit that is a defense down conditional booster that might be an option if you want to go ahead and run something like that as well but you guys are going to see right here just how effective this team is at clearing final stage with Law, John Bart, Beppo, and Sachi Penguin. Um, but as I said, the final team in this video is version 1 Katakuri. And it's not as efficient as the other two teams with Snake Man and Kaido. But look, it still gets the job done. And as I said, I would hardly advise at least clearing this once. Get those really, really good rewards. Especially if you want to do additional pulls on the current Sugo Fest. Getting to 20, 21 additional Rainbow Gems is always going to be really nice for that. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the video today and if you guys did enjoy it make sure you go ahead and hit the like button and if you want to stay up to date with all of the content that i post including more one piece treasure cruise content make sure to hit the subscribe button down below but other than that guys i will see you guys within the next video